Hello, welcome back. I'm Darcy Darkness and this is Behind the Mash Reviews and I just wanted to jump on quickly and show you the new flavours that I got from the Protein Queen. I ordered them last week and they came yesterday. I made a mess up my order and I ordered the wrong fudge. I ordered what I thought was the coconut one but it was Kinder Bueno. I don't like Kinder Bueno. I've never liked Kinder Bueno. Bueno, sorry. I, but my husband said he's going to eat it, so it's not going to go to waste. I may try it, I may not. It's just that um, I'm not a big fan of that flavour. But I did get two Coconut Dream, which is limited edition, because again, I can't get the mint one. The after weights, oh, it's so bloody good as well, man, and they've stopped making it now, and oh, it's a sad face for me. The one thing that was a sad face is when I actually went to the website to actually get my birthday cake version of this and it was out of stock or they've stopped doing it and then I seen this one. Now I only bought one the last time when I was tasting it for the first time. This is lemon drizzle and I learned from that mistake not to buy one from the Protein Queen because they are so good. So I bought three because I thought, hmm, I'm going to like this. I may not like this. But I'd rather have the option to go and try it again if maybe I didn't and maybe trying to encourage myself to eat it because it's the amount of protein that's in this, it's 30 grams and recently because I've had a lot of bugs um, because of the germ factory, which is a skill by the way, that sometimes I'm not hiding my macros and the heat that we've had here in the UK has been absolutely deadly. It was over 30 degrees in my kitchen for a good two weeks and it was awful and eating was not really an option because I didn't want to eat. I don't know if you're anything like myself that when it's too warm I don't want to eat. I just want to make sure that I'm hydrated and I'm not waking it up like I'm hungover because you're not drinking enough water. So I was drinking obviously clear whey and I put clear whey into like ice lollies and ice cubes and things like that just so I could make sure I was getting enough protein and getting enough liquids into my body so I wouldn't be dehydrated and get heat stroke but I've already got heat stroke already again. It's a double edged sword with that one. So. Protein Queen's Cake Pops, they have a new lemon sherbet fudge. This is new to me, Rocky Road, because again, I'm not a fan of Rocky Road in any sort of flavour. But I got it because it's a chocolate based one, and I really like the chocolate based fudges, like the mini egg one, which was for Easter, which I wish I bought more of, because I didn't realise you could freeze them. Yes, you can freeze them. This you can, and it doesn't say about freezing on it. But you can freeze the fudge. So with the the Protein Queen is doing a code on a Friday between 12 and 1 for 20% off. Hey, I think it's the fudge and the cookies. The mega cookie things. Um, so I couldn't wait for Friday. I had to order them before because I had ran out. So I've thought to myself it's probably easier for me to cut out, you know, multiple deliveries every every week or even every fortnight to have to buy it in bulk so I can freeze it and I don't have to pay the uh, multiple delivery charges. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. Whether I wait to the Friday to get twenty percent off is beyond is another thing because I'm too impatient to wait. So I'm going to try this lemon protein cake pop lemon drizzle and if it's anything like the birthday cake version that tastes like a Mr Kipling angel slice then I don't think I'm going to be disappointed. I also was wondering if the recipe had kind of changed for the birthday cake one because the birthday cake one was really really overly sweet to the point where it was making me feel sick because it's made of a sweetener. Sweeteners are more they're actually sweeter than sugar and some sweeteners do give you a cooling effect as well which again can make you feel sick if you're not used to it even when I was keto if you ate too much sweetener it literally gave you a sore stomach so this is what it looks like 
And I have some ice in there, sprinkles, and the lemon curd, and the sponge. Mmm. Wow. Well done, protein queen. You really know your stuff. Wow. If you're here in the UK, please go and check out the protein queen. Her stuff is absolutely delicious. I've never ate something I didn't like. Ever. Everything I've ordered, I've liked. Everything I've tasted, I've liked. And even my son absolutely loved the Biscoff cheesecake. It was quite sickening, but he still enjoyed it. And he ate it over actually, I think, four days. But that is absolutely delicious. And as you can see, the calories are 348, and the protein is 30 grams, and the carbs are 28, and the fat is 15. It's high protein and hand mains, and you can see she has a Facebook, a TikTok, and an Instagram. Mm, apparently it's suitable for vegetarians too. So I am absolutely over the moon with that. And that will be another staple in my macros, especially right now in the summer being too warm and I can't always get my, get my macros for my gains. So I will try these. So I will. I'm trying not. Actually, wasn't going to try it, but I'm going to. Sorry, I had to call for it. I had a gastric bug, so I've not been able to do my videos as well as I should. So this is the lemon sherbet, and it smells lemony. I've had these in the fridge because that's what I tend to do with them, and I'm only going to take a wee bit off because I've just had like a couple of teaspoons of that and I haven't been at myself so I don't want to overload my stomach that literally feels like it's throat swing cut right now. So that is the fudge that we slice. It's not sickening. It's not really lemony either. But I'm not getting much lemon from that at all but again it tastes really good soft yummy again the protein fudge itself is 20 grams of protein and the calories are 245 for that slice 17 grams of carbs and 10 grams of fat so yeah I'm really happy with that um it's not as lemony as I would like would I like it to be more lemony? Yes, but that's just me. I really like overly lemon, citrusy, sour type things to be really, really lemony. To the point where you're literally like soaking your jaws together because it's like really, really sour. So this is the Rocky Road. I wasn't going to try. Ooh. Hmm. If you notice, a lot of the products have glitter on them because they have sparkle on everything. So I'm going to try this. I'm not sure what to make of it. I'm just taking a tiny wee bit because, like I said, Rocky Road is not a flavour I like. But I love the chocolate fudges that she does. So, as you can see, it's nice and chocolatey. Let's see. Mm, it's delicious. Can it taste like Neapolitan ice cream? You know that ice cream that your mum used to make? Mum used to buy in the 80s slash 90s because it was like, oh, three different flavours. Mmm. That is delicious. Yep, I think I'll be buying a slab of maybe each of them. And hopefully the coconut one if they still do it. Have you tried the Protein Queen? Do you like the Protein Queen? Have you checked out her Instagram or her 
I'm sorry, but a bee has just flew into my house and I am literally crapping myself. Because I have one of those big like lights to kill like bugs and stuff because of having your door open in the summer and I tend I switch it off when a bee comes into my house because we need bees. I've just switched the light off so hopefully it flies out because poor wee bee. It's like over there and I'm petrified. <laughs> so tired. I'm so petrified. So panic averted it will fly out and it will not get hurt because the light has been switched off. So have you heard of the Protein Queen? Do you like the Protein Queen? I will leave the Protein Queen's details below if you want to go check her out. And again on Fridays they do a 20% off for 12 to 1 so you can get a wee bargain, taste some new things, enjoy and as you know two thumbs up from me i absolutely love the protein queen i love her for i love her products i absolutely love everything that she makes and i couldn't i couldn't give her any more positivity in my reviews because i love her products that she makes because i would be without them i probably weigh a lot more than i actually should and i would also most likely be off the wagon of exercise and training because I would have fell off and ate a Mars bar or something like that or nibbles or something. I would have ate something that I wasn't supposed to and then had to deal with the repercussions the next day and the guilt of eating it. So thank you for everything that you do and all the products that you create. You don't know how much I really appreciate it and I'm glad that a lot of people, oh my god, there's a bee going now. I'm glad, oh my goodness, that, oh my god, panic. Oh my goodness. I'm Darcy Darkness, I'm sorry for that. And that was behind the match reviews and that was Protein Queen June 2023, new flavours, lemon edition. Let me know in the comments below what is your go-to protein snack and do you have a protein recipe that you can tell me that would be absolutely ridiculous and I have to try it and make myself and maybe share it with my channel. If you like videos like this, please think about subscribing to my channel, liking the video, go over to Instagram and Twitch and add me there too. And I'll see you in the next one, hopefully I won't be getting attacked by wildlife and bees in my kitchen. Later.